Okay, so I'm making sushi, and it's incredible that in the south of France, in the local supermarkets, I can actually find sushi rice. And uh, I figure, I think it's uh, an Italian rice that is licensed by a uh, uh, Japanese manufacturer because this, the Italians actually make a short grain, uh, high carbo rice that's perfect for sushi. So in, in Europe, the sushi rice that we buy is um, usually made either in Italy or in um, in the, the near Marseille. There's a swampland close to Marseille, the Comminges, in uh, France. Anyway, uh, Kimmy. Lisa's grandmother, I was with Lisa for a while, Kimmy showed me how to cook the sushi rice. And I cooked the sushi rice and Ken showed me how to wash it and cook it properly and uh, without a rice cooker. And they also showed me how to make the uh, magic uh, wine vinegar sugar composition. And they showed me how to make sushi. So we have a special guest tonight and I'm making sushi. So the basic vegetables for sushi is carrots and radish. These are black radishes we find in France and I boiled it. And uh, some um, cucumber. So you can mix any of these combinations. Um, the rice you cook, uh, you have to wash it properly not to break the rice with uh, cold water. And you have to know your uh, volumes so that the rice uh, cooks uh, nicely. And once it steams, you turn it low, and then it lets it, you let it steam. And this magic composition is about uh, four. It's a, I'd say about six parts. Uh, it should be rice wine, but I can't find rice wine here. I use white wine, good quality white wine. Six parts white wine, one part rice vinegar and about two teaspoons of sugar and that seems to do the trick so I live in the south of France in a small village called Saint-Sernin in the Pyrenees mountains of the province of Ariège and um, you know we, it's not exactly very easy to uh, find sushi ingredients here but uh, I do whatever I can and I always experiment so today I'm going to do an incredible experiment because once after I finish doing this sushi with the salmon, I'm actually going to make sushi with foie gras. I've always wanted to do this. So once I finish all of this fish here, I'm going to make foie gras in the similar with this. I'm not going to put any mustard. I'm just going to slice the foie gras on the rice with this uh, rice wine vinegar and this sugar. It's going to be beautiful. Raw? No, this has been semi-cooked. So I just have to cut, slice it and put it on top. So this should be fun. Okay, so when you're making your sushi balls, you take your sauce. So I put about this much sauce into the rice and I let it vent for a few hours. Usually when you have to vent, you need a special cedar box and it vents for 24 hours for the rice to be, you know, considered beautiful sushi rice. But, you know, I'm just doing as they do in the restaurant. They just cook the rice up and they throw in about this much for that much rice. Mm -hmm. About this much for that much rice. So obviously my hands are super clean, I'm washing them all the time, but when you're making your balls of sushi, that sushi rice tends to be really sticky, so you actually gotta kinda get your hands wet with the stuff, with the sauce, and um, there's two ways of doing them, in a mold, or by hand like this. And I don't have a mold, so I'm just making my little sushi my rice balls by hand like this and because I'm using this um, stuff here well it's not going to be sticky and I just put a little bit of uh, wasabi 
Thank God we can find wasabi and nori here. Not too much. And I'll just take a choice piece here, put it on top, and I'm sure my guests will be just totally excited with this. I really <laughs> like this okay, baby. shrimp dish. Here we go. So this is the foie gras. It's pre-cooked, uh, half cooked, and I get it from the local supplier who actually makes the stuff. And it's uh, high quality. They put it in pepper and cognac and all that stuff. And uh, I'm going to just make it really simple. I'm not going to mix it with uh, seaweed. The foie gras, I'm just going to put it on top of the block of the rice that is sweetened with uh, this magic concoction. And I think the sweetness of this uh, sauce with the rice will go well with the foie gras. And this is something I've always wanted to try. And it's been in my mind for a long time. And uh, today I tried for the first time. Uh, I can't get it. This one for me. Let's see. Okay. I'm just going to have to make nice sharp cuts. Like this. And this is going to be for for sushis. Foie gras sushi. Where did you get that idea from? I don't know. I just... Come on, Krista. I have no idea where I got this idea from, but it's just been on my mind for a long time. Uma likes foie gras. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll give her a piece. Oh, but first, it. let's make a sushi test. Yeah. You and I will have our first foie gras sushi, okay? All right. You and I. Yes, let's I'll do it. I'll give you the first piece. Uma, you have to come after. This is just not going to happen, Dochka. I know. Oh, she seems to really be interested in this. Here you go. First sushi, and you're first, babe. You go first, Christoph. Okay. Your idea. You go first. Go slowly. Tell me. How does it taste? Strange? Good? It's excellent. Very rich. <laughs> you can't have too many of those puppies, can you? No. Well, congratulations. What's the date today? 27th. That's 27th. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wow. Here's, I'm filming. Kiska's behind you. Here's for you, babe. Watch out. Kiska is also here, babe. Yeah, I bet he's oh, going. No, what are you doing, Daddy? In. <laughs> he wants to come in. He thinks foie gras is maybe better than No, it's this. daddy's foie gras. No, you stay, no, out, daddy's. Of you stay you out of it. You stay out of it, Do a selfie there, Oh, he is smart. Yeah. <laughs> he is very smart. He understands, right, Uma? He understands he can't have this. Okay, no. I'll give a small piece okay. to Uma and a small piece to Koshka. Okay, well, give them two pieces then. Here's a small one for Koshka. Oh, not sure he likes it. Mm. He's never seen this before. Uma have it, no problems. Mm -hmm. Try it. You like it. No, it's too peppery. <laughs> okay. Do a selfie of yourself. Yes, I'm gonna have to have this now. <laughs> wow. There's a camera across stuff. It's really perfect. My fingers are wet. Mm. Really good. Very tasty combination. Yep. Yeah. Foie gras. Could even be a little thinner and the and a little less rice too. Don't need so much rice. It's really tasty the the way you made the rice. And it really adds this a little bit of the edge. Takes away the edge. Yeah. It's acidic. Okay, so 
Go to work, baby. Yes, a new experiment. Mm -hmm. I bet you with ginger would be good. I'm going to try one with ginger. Yeah, with ginger is going to be great. I'm going to just try one with a little bit of ginger here. Fresh ginger, not the pickled ginger that you have in sushi. Uh -huh. Just some fresh ginger. It doesn't have to need so much volume, actually, because it is very rich. So you can, I'm making a smaller ball of rice. I'm going to put just a little bit of ginger here, not so much, fresh ginger. And I'm going to take a smaller piece of uh, my sushi foie gras. All right. I'm going to try this. Better? Our ginger works good. Yeah? Mm. I think Uma likes this idea. Well, look, let's look at it from Uma's perspective, mm. Christoph. It's a good idea. Did she get anything from this table yet? No. No. Poor, She's poor Sapachka. No, well, I did give her a small piece of Sapachka. Yeah, sofa. she did. Yeah. Well, okay. she didn't mind it. No, she didn't mind it. So, um, this is the recipe. I'm going to just put a tiny little bit of ginger. I see. Makes sense. Makes sense? Yeah. Tiny. A little bit of ginger like this. Fresh ginger. And a slab of foie gras. We're making sure we're not putting any wasabi into this business because it's not going to work. No, and no, wasabi. no wasabi. And I washed my utensils and my dishes so all of the fish that I cut and used before is not being transferred. So everything is clean. And there's no taste of fish anywhere. Right. All right, well, more later. More okay. later. All right, this is a brand new invention. This is, I've been thinking about this for years, and um, I just invented foie gras sushi. Now, Say that again? I just invented the foie gras sushi, and it's mm. really good. So I take my rice and the sauce, and I put a little bit of uh, fresh ginger, and I cut myself a piece of foie gras. But remember, I'm the inventor. And all you chefs out there are probably going to use my idea. I only ask one thing out of you, is to call it the Kristoff Sushi. This is the Kristoff Sushi that I invented today on October 27th, 2016. Thank you, guys. Sushi, it's with the mark and You see? Hello! Bon, alors, essaye le sushi Christophe. Avec plaisir. <laughs> ok. Sushi Christophe avec le gingembre. Very nice. Oh. <laughs> It's so good. The trick is not too much rice, not too much yeah. uh, liver, and the small ginger. doses, ginger. And, uh, ginger. and the uh, ginger, and the rice has to be properly seasoned with uh, wine, rice vinegar, and sugar, so it stays sweet. No soy sauce. Not necessary. Mm, I wouldn't do it. Okay. Cheers, Stephanie. Pink champagne. <laughs> Man, that's heavy duty stuff. We're gonna chill with the foie gras mm. sushi. Mm. Cheers! <laughs> <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> mm. 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 Very good for stuff. Ginger changes everything. Yeah, a little bit. I've been thinking about this recipe for years and years and years. You know, it's really tasty. And I think next time I'm going to pan fry the uh, foie gras and then put it on the rice. Then it'll serve it hot. 
It will be tasty. Ah, yeah. yeah. Next time. Bien sûr. Bien sûr. Moi, je n'imagine même pas. Oui. Vous avez été, vous, au Japon? So after we finished the foie gras sushi, the Kristoff sushi, now we're into all the traditional rolls and uh, sushi, which uh, I learned how to make from Kimmy, uh, Lisa's grandmother. I'll be forever grateful to Kimmy for teaching me how to make sushi. Forever and ever and ever. <laughs> yeah, many years ago. I'm a lucky guy. <laughs>